A friend of mine has these shorts which she absolutely loves and what she wants to do is um, make some more. And I'm sure that that can happen to you, you know, where you have trousers or shorts and they just fit you, you know, really comfortably and you would like to make some more. So now I'm not, I've never been trained as a dressmaker as such, right? Um, all of the knowledge that I have is, is pretty much self-taught. As you know, I've had six clothing alteration shops and I've been doing this for over 20 years. So the way that I do things is not necessarily the way that people would be taught in a college. Um, but my friend said to me, would I be kind enough to make a pattern for her so that she can make some more of these? So what I'm going to do is show you um, how I go about making a pattern from something like this. Now, I have um, been given fabric over the years by a lot of um, my, my clients, in particular my corporate clients. I had one who brought me almost a ute load of um, rolls and rolls and rolls of fabric. And one of those rolls of fabric is a, is a white, medium weight fabric. And because I'm not into white very much, what I found is that when I wanted to make a pattern from something, um, I used that fabric. Now you could of course use paper or uh, whatever you want to use. Um, so, but I'm going to make it out of this fabric for my friend and then she can just um, continue to make more shorts for herself. So I'm going to make a pattern for my friend and I'll show you how to do that. So the first thing you're going to do <coughs> Just turn the shorts inside out and then place, it doesn't matter what, just place one leg inside the other so that you end up with a front and a back. Now What I'm going to do is, I'm going to create a pattern from this, like that. So if I pull that out like that, there I go, I have it. So now what I want to do is just make it nice and as flat as possible. Okay, so that'll do me for the front. So the first thing I'm going to do, this is the edge that I need. Now, some repairs have been made to this. So, now, when you're doing it, you can kind of be as rough as, as you need to I guess initially because you can tidy it up later but that's there's the curve so I'll bring that up to here because like I said it's been repaired and bring that around to there and when you've got a fold just use dashed lines and then when I come over here, got that there. And like I said, I'll sort this out like to to get the exact after. Because it's elasticated. All you have to do is pull that out, pull that to there, and again do a dotted line across there. And now you can bring it across to here, and then <clears throat> pull that to there, and then pull that to there, so you've got it exact, and then you can let go of that end 
and leave this end intact and that gives you so there you go how easy was that now it's got a waistband that goes over so what I'll do is just mark that up one inch and now you can use your ruler to get your lines so you can see how easy that is and We've got a one and a half inch turned hem, so what I'm going to do is do that. That's the one, and there's the half. I can't really see from this angle, but anyway, I'll fix it when I. So, this is the front. And cut two. So there's an elastic waist, one inch turn, and hem equals one and a half inch, what I call a TT, turn twice. Okay, so that's our front done. So we'll cut that. Like I said before, this fabric is awesome for making patterns. I know a lot of people wouldn't agree with me, but okay. So now we want to create the back panel, draw a line like that, come up to here, again it's been repaired so I may have to tweak that section, you can see when you look at that, that it is going across slightly and that's because of the pattern you can see the line so I'm just going to take that across like that and up to there stop there and then we'll go across here there, across to here, and now there's another so from there across another one and three eighths so that comes out to there because that's tucked under so you've got to allow for that so that comes out to there and then of course the same will apply here Under. Bring that to one and a quarter. Remember what we did before about stretching it across? So get the two seams, pull that one to there, now for your seam allowance, bring that across to there, and I can see that line anyway. Okay, so there's the line there and there's the line there. So now, now generally the back, the back rise is going to be higher anyway. And remember that that's the elastic.
and then we'll just straighten this and now add and half inch turn I mean I did before I did this like that that's okay all right so this is our back and this is our hem one inch plus a half and this is our elastic one inch now before you cut it and because you know you're taking a pattern off an existing garment which is folded etc so that makes it hard so all we want to do is just make sure that there are two areas that have to be exactly the same and that is the inside leg seam on the back and on the front has to be the same so I'm just going to lower that to there and just give that a nice curve so that's good that means that that is now the same as the front and we just want to check the sides are the same because remember when you put the sides together what will be different is the uh, front rise and the back rise but this is exactly the same so that means when you join those two seams together that's going to work now I can see that it goes out a little bit here and because it's elasticated I'm just going to bring that down and that could have been just stretching out the fabric or whatever might not have got it right I don't think it really needs that curve there I think that will be fine so there's our pattern just cut that out Okay, so there's our pattern and the only other thing that we want to do here is we want to put a mark for the for the pocket just for the position basically so that right there just So the pocket goes there and then if we're going to put a pocket in then we just need to do this side. Like that. my fingernail there it's out there fingernail fingernail and basically you can see the outline So this is pocket, cut, two. Which, did we put that on there? No, we didn't. So we've got to put on the back, cut two. I mean, most people would know that. So, there we have our pattern.
Now, like I said, I'm not a, um, a dressmaker in terms of drafting patterns and things like that. The only time that I need a pattern is when I'm copying something that I already have, like an existing garment that I have. I'd make dresses and trousers and things like that. So here's the shorts. And now we have a pattern which can be used. The other, the other thing that's great about doing a pattern from fabric, if you've got some spare fabric floating around that you don't want, is that you could quickly run that up with a really wide stitch, like a you know stitch on four or something like that, that you could pull out really quickly. And you could just make another you know, front and another back, obviously, and then just try that on and see if it fits okay. And if it doesn't, well, you know, you can make any adjustments to it. It's a lot easier doing it something like this than it is with, say, paper. You can't really try that on. So that's that. And I just wanted to show you that these are, you know, my favorite and very comfortable trousers that I use. And again, just to show you what we did is that you turn it inside out and then grab one leg like so and place that leg inside that leg. So now you can easily see how now you could very easily create your pattern from that. And that's what I did with these. So you can see there's the back and there's the front. So for me, I've talked about this in another video, for me the difference between my front rise and my back rise is quite significant. Very, very hard for me to find clothes like this that fit me. Generally, they're not like that, not, not as extreme, I guess you could say. So, I've made a pattern, and then I've made all sorts. You know, I've made white ones, I've made red ones, and I've made navy. And like I said, they're my most co comfortable trousers, and they're a stretch as well. So, that's how you can draft a pattern and make your own garments just from um, any comfortable trousers that you have.